Military researchers in China successfully inserted a gene from tardigrades, commonly known as water bears, into human embryonic stem cells. This genetic modification has significantly enhanced the cell's ability to withstand radiation, potentially paving the way for the creation of super-resistant soldiers capable of surviving nuclear attacks. Tardigrades are extremely durable organisms, measuring less than one millimeter in size. They possess remarkable survival abilities, enduring extreme temperatures as low as minus 200 degrees Celsius, surviving in boiling water for over an hour, and even enduring the harsh conditions of space travel. These extraordinary traits are attributed in part to a specific gene that enables them to produce protective proteins, shielding their cells from the harmful effects of radiation and other environmental factors. Using the gene editing tool CRISPR-Cas9, the researchers successfully integrated the tardigrade gene into human DNA. In laboratory experiments, nearly 90% of human embryonic cells carry the water bear gene could withstand lethal doses of X-ray radiation. Given the significant genetic disparity between tardigrades and humans, the researchers initially expected potential harm or cell death from introducing the foreign gene. They acknowledged the risk of harmful mutations due to the genetic gap between the two species. They emphasized the uncertainty surrounding the immune response triggered by the unique protective proteins found in water bears. These considerations raised safety concerns, as previous studies have indicated potential failures in gene transfer between vastly different animal species. However, the experiment yielded surprising results as human cells were compatible with the tardigrade gene. Genetic analysis revealed no mutations in the altered cell's chromosomes, and the cells functioned normally. They even exhibited accelerated growth at specific developmental stages. The researchers affirmed that the experiment maintained cell viability and facilitated cell proliferation to some extent. Encouraged by these findings, the team plans to advance to the next phase of their research based on this promising outcome. One of the team's future goals is to transform embryonic stem cells modified with the tardigrade gene into blood-producing cells. This advancement holds the potential for addressing acute radiation sickness, or ARS, a significant medical concern faced by military personnel, civilians, and emergency workers during nuclear accidents and acts of terrorism. Implanting these modified cells into the bone marrow could increase the chance of survival in apocalyptic scenarios by generating radiation-resistant blood cells.